Hello! It's Charlotte Day with Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorn. Anyway, Adobe Max is on and popping today. So today is October 21st, the day after Snoop Dogg's birthday. Okay, take reconsiderations about working with yourself for life. Snoop Dogg's birthday was yesterday. Today, start thinking about how you need to go forth in your life. Okay, Snoop Dogg. Anyway, Kenya Barris, please let me work. Please give me, I can, oh my God, I can write. I'm such a good writer. Kenya Barris, that's the kind of project I want to work on. It's like all the black people around the world. For real, for real, for real, for real, Kenya. Me. Shante Shula. Shula. Anyway, so today I wanted to do like, um, I'm obsessed with, even though I go to the library now, I get books and I don't read them. For real, I do. But, um, I am obsessed with unicorns, unicorns too, okay? Y'all know my unicorns. But then the unicorns, right, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with them, like, really love them. Um, I have not wrote a book about unicorns yet. I think I'm going to start my book challenge for myself again. And this time, maybe I can do it like, like when I do the art and stuff, like I can like virtually do it. But I know this time now I have to use Photoshop. The last time I loved it so much because I, and actually I lost it. It was in my, it was, all my artwork was in my, um, it was in my storage. So now it's gone again. The third, fourth, fifth time I lost, my art has been left or stolen or something like that. So Anyway, um, I made all the art like out of recycled paper and I, uh, and a lot of the books I just handmade myself. Not that they were perfect, but now I know I can do it in Photoshop. I didn't even think about Photoshop and Illustrator when I started. So, uh, also I'm obsessed with fucking dragons. Like, oh my God. And the book I was writing, or I'm still writing is about dragons because my son started to be obsessed with dragons. So he helped me because every time we bought a book about dragons, they were so cool. So anyway, I got one of these from the library. Then I got two from the library. And we got a video too, but this one is a good one. It's called Dragon um, Dragon: A Natural History. So it get, I love it because it like gives me information. But I also like the, the like how... Because I like different cultures and stuff, this one talks about, like, how dragons come from different parts of the world. Like, where they, like, if they come from Asia or Europe or, um, and what type they are. So, they got, like, semi-dragons, serpent dragons, sky dragons, neo-dragons. And since I, like, while I'm writing this book, I like a whole encumbered history because i want you to be like shantae but the semi no but see i know this part but now we're gonna change this to this part you see what i'm saying because some people they would be professional dragon people you know what i'm saying so if i become a professional dragon person that can tell the person wait a minute no my dragon needs to be like this you know and i'm still designing the dragon too so i actually want to draw the dragon i know what i i have an idea of what i want the dragon to look like I, like, have the dragon's personality down or whatever, you know. And so this just further helps me involve myself in the creation of this little dragon that I have. So anyway, A Natural History of um, of Dragons. Love this book. Love it because of the history of it. Like, I'm such a, like, I love it because I like to, when I'm reading it, I redesign in my head. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I'm like that. This one I love, too. It's called Dragons. Um, I don't know if people are really into this stuff, but, and I'm doing a podcast too, so I'm sorry if you can't see the vid visuals, but you can come to the video. So anyway, like, I love legends and lore of, of dinosaurs, but I'm like an interactive person with the book. I am so touchy feely with books. Like, you know, like if I was to do like a short book, I would want to do like a, like a pop-up book or something like that. Cause I like that stuff. And I'm thinking if I like it, the kids like it too. Um, this is the part I like. So this is what our other book had. You know, see, we lost that in storage too. But our other book had this too. Like, it's like, you can pull this out. And the other book, you could like make puzzles, like out of the dragons. Like, so you can make like 3D models of them. And this one does the same thing. It tells you like, if they're in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. And again, y'all know, I like my research. 
So I'm always like into doing my research. What happened? What happened? Are you serious? I don't know what that was. Okay, yeah, it's still going. Please still keep going. Okay, so anyway, yeah. So I like um, the legends and, okay, it says it's still unstable. It's still waiting. Your connection is unstable. I don't know what that was. So hopefully this is still recording. If not, I'm so sorry. But anyway, this is a, it's a beautiful book. Like it's like, it is a wonderful book. I don't know. I'm a girl and I like dragons. So I don't know if other girls like dragons, but I really do like I just like all this stuff and like look at all the pictures and stuff um and so that helps me figure out how I want to draw my new dragon or whatever and what my new dragon is going to do and that's why the show is short today too because I got to get back to Adobe Max because I really think it's fucking popping right now it is a girl like if you hit live you go live it's like a woman who's Anika Anika Jones or something like that she's like an artist I love her texture like the texture inside her paintings are just fucking wonderful. They're beautiful. Um, yeah, I want to cry because I lost my work. I, I really do. I thought that was like a good show for me. Like I did. I thought it was like a good start of a show. I'm not as detailed as an artist. Like I did go simple this time. Um, you know, I didn't go into big semantics or anything with my art. And it's hard when you lose it because it's like, God damn, you know, like... I put in a lot of work. A lot of that was done through anxiety and helped me through anxiety. So it's almost like the work that was my anxiety work, the work that was that meant the most to me because that was the part of my healing, is now gone. Like all of the writing they stole, that they cut it up and put it however they wanted to do it. And then they also stole now my paintings and all those things are stolen too, as well as the pictures that belong to my mom and... Um, like, you know, I only had, like, one baby picture with my mom. That's gone. So, yeah, that's life, I guess. That's my life. It's not everybody else's life, you know. Some people get to walk in the sunshine a little bit more than I do. Okay, so this one right here, Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History. So, Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History. I thought this was the cutest shit ever. So, I actually, one time I made a... Um, I made a little, like, math thing or whatever, and I, I try to use, like, all these little people from history. So, look, I'm really thinking that it's only about 10 people in here. No, it is pages and pages and pages of black men and their greatness, even James Baldwin. So, I saw this, I was like, oh, my God. And look how adorable they are. And then I started thinking about my son in a bow tie. What if he wore a bow tie for me again? He's so cute, y'all. I'm like, should he get cardigans? He's become such a little entrepreneur. I don't know what to do with him. Um, yeah. Would he let me dress him? He probably won't. He's asleep right now. And, um, and today he was just the cutest thing. So writer activist. James Baldwin, 1924 to 1987. Whoa. When he was 14, James thought he would become a minister like his stepfather. James was, uh, James was already a great orator, giving sermons in front of congregations. However, he felt frustrated with the church. Around that time, James realized he was gay. The systemic racism and homophobia coming from an institution that was supposed to share messages of grace and love made him feel lost disappointed and alone. James left the church and focused on developing his writings. For a while, he he worked odd jobs and was mentored by writers like Richard Wright and County Cullen. Eventually, James felt suffocated by racism and left the country. In 1948, he went to Paris where he could live and work without fear. In 1953, he published his first novel, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Inspired by his experiences with religion, class, and exile, in the United States, the civil rights movement was blossoming, was blossoming, and James wanted to participate. During this period, his writing focused on what it meant to be black in America. James felt that segregation was the biggest source of strife in the country, and that racism hurt white society as well as black. 
He called for human equality and encouraged brotherhood over violence. At times, he was criticized for his pacifism, but James never had hatred for any people, only the establishment and institutions that told people what to do. He became well known for articulating arguments in an elegant way that made black people and white audience listen, audiences listen. He traveled the country giving speeches and lectures, and he debated and befriended some of the biggest leader of, leaders of the day. Many of James's essays, poems, and novels are considered masterpieces, including Notes of a Native Son and, Fi and The Fire Next Time. He wrote openly about his sexuality at a time when no one else did. For all his work and his words, James was watched closely by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, those motherfuckers. Because, I mean, perhaps because the agency knew the power he had to galvanize the people around him with his sharp and bold messages. I love this book. It's so honest. So Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History. It is the cutest thing. It is cute as a dickens. And it's by Vashti Harrison. So yeah, um, I just really like books. I like books, 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 books. Um... And that's it. So those are like my cute little tidbits for today. And that actually made me feel better. The best thing about today though, for real, is Adobe Max because it's so much. It's so much to it's so much to dig into. I'm just eating ice cream all day. I like the information. I really do. Like it's it's been light, it's been hard, it's been funny, it's been inviting, it's been intellectual, it's been like all these great things. So Yes, 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 but yeah, get into that, I love it, have a good day, Shantae, Brown Sugar Talk, make sure if you can get books from the library, get them, because they have some good stuff out there, I got two other books too, oh, before I go, let me show you the other books, So I apologize because I was also working on a essay or just another uh, way to describe black women or whatever. Just like another way to give us the volume that we need. Like, I hate that we always like, we always have those like same stereotypes. Like I talk about this to the Sapphire, the Jazabelle, and the um, Aunt Jemima kind of thing. So anyway, I saw this to a black a Black Women's History of the United States by Dana Ramey Berry and Callie Nicole Gross. Okay, so a Black Women's History of the United States, and I wanted to do more things about the 19th century because um, I didn't want to just teach my son about American history. I want to teach him about Black American history, and usually, if you teach him about any history, art history, Black American history. Writing history, whatever, wherever, whatever art you want to choose, whatever era you want to choose. If you choose to do that, all of it connects. It all connects. The art, if you teach them from an artist's perspective, they will still have to come back to the war. If you teach them from a music perspective, they will still have to come back to the war. It does not matter how you teach it, over whatever disciplines you teach it, it's all the same. Pretty much sort of all kind of like fluent with the years or whatever. So, anyway, and I'm not saying that it's always the truth so that's all i'm saying okay so then i found this into american radicals how 19th century protests shaped the nation so i saw this one too and it's by holly j oh i like how she got her name on that girl yes 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 so that's by holly jackson so anyway okay i'm done so anyway yes um if you get a chance to go into some libraries and get some books and read and all that good stuff then please do it and share because people love to hear stuff like that. Anyway, have a great day. Again, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. Can you bear it? I work. I mean, I'm talking about I work. I read and I work. Can you bear it? I can do it. And I don't need wigs. So that means I can just wake up and go to work. I don't need no wigs. I ain't got to put on no makeup. I just look like this. I just look like this. So all I got to do is get up and go. That's it. I got to get up. I'll be on the go. For real, for real. I done had all my shots. 
look, look, Shante Schuler, Shante Schuler, Schuler. America has fucked me up. I need the world now. I need China and Asia and Mexico and South America and Polynesians. I need all that. All that. I'm the one. I'm the one. Anyway, Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black and the Current. Have a great day. Whew.